employees. It's a pleasure keeping uh, as uh, uh, to, to keeping you ha having you on this morning the conversation right here on why in the morning. If you're just joining us, this is why two five four. Now we are we just done for the next discussion for the day. We would like to dissect the BBI. If you uh, uh, you know you are online, go to www.y254.co.ke where we are also live on our website to participate and engage with us. The hashtag as always is why in the morning tag me at ramagugo our official station handle is at y254 channel on twitter now i'm joined by nuruddin kagai political analyst and lawyer nuruddin karibu sana uh, we are continuing this conversation with him on politics now the building bridges uh, initiative report is expected to be tabled at the nairobi county assembly floor on tuesday for discussion in regards to uh, 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 the the bill will it be passed or not the house sittings resume at the nairobi county assembly that is a question remember cia county assembly last week set precedence on the bbi by becoming the very first county to pass the bill the devolution cabinet secretary Gino Malwa has implored West Pokot County Assembly to consider passing the bill of the BBI uh, in order to further improve on devolution, which has had commendable success stories since its inception in the year 2010. This is the question. Will the county assemblies pass the bill? That is the conversation we, are, we want to have with uh, my brother here, Nurdin, in a few. So, Nurdin, yeah. Nairobi county assemblies re re resuming sittings yeah. amidst a lot of issues that are happening in Nairobi county. Mm. Do you see them passing the bill? Uh, the question rather is, mm. will there be public participation? <laughs> because passing but the bill, <laughs> that, that will pass, that we know. You're saying it will pass? The 24 mm. counties. Mm. They'll, they'll pass. 24 countries, they'll oh, make it. Honorable Raila said that he is sure yeah. that they will pass the bill in all the 24 counties. In fact, he said that uh, 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 that uh, the, the bill referendum will be approved in the requisite 24 counties mm. before the end of this month. You see? You see? There is even a, time, a, a, a timeline for them. <laughs> you see, the, the, the problem is, that, like we, we keep saying, yeah. in Kenya, yeah. political parties are owned by individuals. So those who get into politics, elected, let's say, MCA, governor, whatever, mm. member of parliament, there's something called party position. Now, ODM has a position on BBI. Jubilee has a position on, on BBI. Jubilee party leader is Uhuru Kenyatta. ODM party leader is Raila Mondo Odinga. So it's more or less panel beating the members of the county assembly, and mm. then you, 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 you massage them with a car grant. And of course, you'll have the 24 counties you need. I'm looking at what Ruto said, that uh, we must also say the truth. This yeah. is what Ruto said, and yeah. I quote, we must also say the truth. Our plan to create millions of jobs in the second term after laying the ground in the first time was put aside and the priority becomes, be, became the BBI. They had five years before, before the BBI. 2013 to 2017, there were no jobs created as well. You see, any failure or success in Jubilee government is should be given to the same, uh, same measure to the president and the deputy president. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, you know, this blame, this this push and pull mm. over this BBI, the, especially now coming to, to the county assemblies, yeah. uh, because now the discussion will be the development agenda of the county. Yeah. And the, the development agenda of the, of, of, of the ruling party mm -hmm. and the government as, as, as a whole. Mm. When we are to prioritize, mm. how should our county assemblies look at this document? You see, they, look, they need to look, uh, check on devolution. Is devolution gaining? Is the document good for devolution? Mm -hmm. Will it strengthen devolution? Are the people going to benefit from it? What are the benefits? You see, those are the questions they need to ask. Then the people, they need to be a public participation, mm -hmm. where people understand the document. Not in the scenario where we've seen people were signing, and also signature, then getting a document. Mm -hmm. You know, in Ram, it's like you're going to, for an exam, then after the exam, you're given notes. Things don't work to, like to, that. To read. Yes. So you see, there's not one. There was no civic education. That is why the proponents of BI are saying the BI is being demonized or there are rumors around it. When you don't do public, uh, when civic education, people won't know what you're doing. That's so you're number one. You're saying you believe it will be passed? I'm sure that, 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 that's with, not even a question. With, 24 counties, they'll get it. Without public participation? 
the level of the participation is what is key. Because like in CIA, mm. there, there's, there's a court case. They're asking, did you really do adequate civic, uh, public, ad public participation? That's the question. Because you know, you can, you can come here and meet here and you say we did public participation. But CIA did, uh, uh, did quite a lot when it comes to setting presidents. Yeah, for this bill. they had to. That's th that's where that's the whole of, of the right now prime minister. They had to, they had to set president. You see, the problem is yeah, they have been told they have a month, they have a month to take it now to the national assembly with the certificate of approval. Mm. Then from there it moves. You see, and once it moves, you know, like they say that the train left the station. Honorable Reno Odinga said this, and I quote: "You can now see everything that." They have been saying about the BBI is not based on an honest disclosure, mm -hmm. but on narrow personal interests. The truth is, they wanted opposing. They started opposing the BBI team even before it started its work, mm -hmm. citing wrong priorities and other issues. Mm -hmm. And that's a question. Would, do you think that the statement about uh, those in opposition of the BBI is uh, uh, is true. What do you think? How do you make of it that they are they aren't honest, uh, but it is based they, they oppose it based on narrow personal interest. You know, police is all about interest. So you see, there's someone who feels like the BBI mm. is not catering for his own. Now there are those like Linda Katiba who are talking about how the concern has, has not been implemented, mm. and now it's going to be altered. If you can't implement something then why change it? Why are you changing? Yes, our constitution still has some loopholes here and there, but it is one of the most forward thinking constitutions in the world, and it has not been implemented fully. So you can get where those are coming from, but not from the political class. You know, they say one thing in the morning and something totally different in the evening. Mm. So you can find maybe somebody is opposing during the day and at night is supporting it. So they, it, they leave less to be desired about, and our political class, you don't, you, you don't take what they say uh, you take it a pitch of, uh, a pi like with a pitch of salt, because at the end of the day, they, are, they, they, they can change their mind in between. But mm -hmm. those, we, so far we know the ones who are opposing the BBI are negative negative so far. Because the politicians, like we say, today they'll be here, tomorrow they'll be there. They change it's like it's the all wind. about their interest. If they're told there's something here for you, I, they jump the other side. That's how they are. And if, you know, for them again, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of what do they gain. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with our political class. That's affecting the BBI. Yeah, because if you see, uh, aside from Linda Katina, hmm. the ones who are talking against the BBI, for example, are politicians. Like yesterday, like a good example is the uh, Kana government. Hmm. You see, obviously his two terms are over. Maybe he's seeking something totally different. You know, it's it's more or less like they're calculating their next move. For so, so what Honorable Odega is saying is true. It's not about them being honest, but them having personal interests. Yeah, it's all about... And that's why they oppose the BBI. Politics is all about interest, yeah. Those who support, their interest has been taken care of by the document. Those who oppose, it, they feel there's something they would want there. Or maybe some, you know, some oppose or, uh, you know, it's, it, BBI will form two things. BBI billionaires and political formations. So some will oppose to create a political career, like what we had, the, uh, the, the yes and no referendum in 205. It's more or less, you know, we're going to elections. So this will breed new, pol new leaders, this will breed new formations. So where you are, it depends. If I come from a region where people don't want it, you'll find yourself going there. So are you, are, are you saying that the BBI is a money-generating document? Every, everything in Kenya is a scandal until it happens, until we know. Everything in Kenya is a scandal until we know. You expect to see a scandal Obviously, in this? Obviously, oh, until we know, there's someone who's going to benefit, until we know. Do you foresee a scandal? Obviously, this is Kenya, anything Come is possible. On. I'm Indeed. being honest, I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> anything in Kenya is a scandal until you find out. And we'll find out after, after. And when th those, let, let's say, and, and w when there are issues, mm. is when the scandal now crops out. People are rallying the MCAs of different counties to support this BBI. Yeah. What do you think about that move? To is, is some are, you know, you're, you're whipping your, your, your members to toe the line and support you know, it. It is sad because I, as a member, as someone elected, mm. we think that you have your own brain, you can think and decide for yourself. But now when you're panel beaten into a certain party position, you know, the, it's about service delivery. It's about those who elected you. You should seek their audience. If at all you are there to represent the people, then you should represent their views, mm -hmm. not a party line. Because if you represent party lines, we'll never go anywhere as a nation. But we'll party are, parties have 
rules, they have but stipulations. Now, so rules you cannot you, you, you cannot be a member of a political party and not do what the political party now says. Now the question is the question is uh, do the rules of the party override the interests of the people? They shouldn't. Nothing. If, even you know, when you check uh, the constitution, leadership and, uh, and, and, and integrity, ch chapter six, a, pol a, a, a leader's interest, personal interest, should never override public interest. That, that in itself is an offense. You, you've brought in a, yet another, an, an, another issue there, but uh, still, still, political parties, yeah. does the stand of a candidate mm -hmm. or a member of a party mm -hmm. overrule the stand of the party itself if the party says we support the BBI? If the stand of the party is not towards helping the lives of those who elected you or service delivery, then you, sh you should overrule that. You should. Because at the end of the day, the problem is our, our, our parties are based on the ideas or ideals of the party leader. They're not institutions. Mm -hmm. So if the party leader today wakes up and decides I'm not part of BBI, you all follow without questioning why. That is the problem. You see, we, we are these uh, politicians, they say, okay, say my left, my left. left. Uh, it doesn't have to be like that. <laughs> yeah, to not, uh, yeah, to not, you catch a flu. That's what I'm supposed to do. CSO Malwa said this, yeah. and I quote, I am fully persuaded that leaders from, the, from this county, uh, he, he was uh, at uh, West Pocot County. Mm -hmm. Yes, West, West Pocot County. He said, I am fully persuaded that leaders from this county can attest to the successes of devolution. Mm -hmm. With BBI, more is, is expected to be realized. Mm -hmm. Hence, we should support President Uru Kenyatta and his noble move of making the country's development agenda even better. Devolution. Mm -hmm. Now the CS is giving his, 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 his view on, on, on this. What do you make of that? That uh, devolution has, uh, you know, BBI is, is, is expected to, to be realized uh, uh, through, through, BBI is expected to improve devolution in the counties. First and foremost, improvement of devolution is relative. Mm -hmm. The word success in devolution, the term is relative because most counties are still languishing in abject poverty after devolution, you know. He's saying that with the, that, that so far they can attest that devolution has reached a form of success. And with the BBI, you expect more. I'll give you an example. Without any good political will, mm -hmm. there will be no success. We have a constitution that is never followed. There is no will in the constitution. That is where we are, where we are in Kenya, where court orders are never observed, where the rule of law is not followed. So there has to be political will. It's like saying, I can come in campaign and tell you I'll give you a, a million jobs. If I don't mean it, and you vote for me, you'll never get a million jobs. Mm. That's the challenge we have. You see, the, the problem in Kenya is that we have politicians and not leaders. You see, leaders are there to serve the interests of the people. Okay, now, um, you, you, you said a good point, no devolution. Yeah. Um, the CS said this. Your leaders have said that in 2017 they had six ECDE centers, but to date they have constructed 22 more mm -hmm. and are planning to add a further 10. Mm -hmm. They have also said that they had about 10 teachers, but they are adding 22 more. Mm -hmm. These are the fruits of devolution, mm -hmm. end of quote. Well, you see... You say there's no devolution. What listen, about this? Listen, mm. the success we wanted in devolution has not been achieved because the idea behind devolution Mm. was to make the country grow uh, towards Vision 2030 at an easier rate. Mm -hmm. Now, what we did with the evolution, th there are one, two, three things that have been done. But what the majority or the biggest thing we have done with devolution, we have devolved corruption from the national government to the county government. And that is the problem. That is why you have people who supply things to the county governments, eight years down the line have not been paid. And that is why you have governors who are now billionaires. And that is why you have people who are still, like in Turkana, people are still in abject poverty, they still hunger, mm -hmm. they, they are, there is no water. After devolution, and we're talking about the Vision 2030, that's a mirage. It's a mirage. It is, at the end of the day. That's why I said, if there is no political goodwill, it will never happen. So, and, and you know, for devolution to be a, a success, the counties must also follow a certain formula. Yes. Towards the success. Yes. You feel the BBI will be passed. It will. Will it promote devolution? If we first fight the big monster known as corruption. Corruption. Corruption is the biggest thing that challenges Kenya 
any development but corruption will we, 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 it will be there I was, I was reading some book and uh, some some professors were saying corruption can never end it can only be minimized in kenya we have to we have to minimize because ours is beyond now we know we, we actually revel in nigeria our governors you know they think they're like the governors in nigeria mm -hmm. you know the ones who own oil fields they have jets that, that, that is that is a problem because if we don't tackle corruption case in Kenya, mm -hmm. where are we headed? Give me a final word in regards to BBI and the counties, uh, uh, and the county assembly's approval. Uh, what do you expect? I'm sure it's going to be passed by county assembly. Mm -hmm. It will go to the national assembly. Mm -hmm. um, most definitely they will fight for a referendum. Mm -hmm. But according to me, I don't think it's a priority, because there are more pressing issues. We have doctors who are striking. Mm -hmm. The economy is ailing. We have unemployment. We have so many issues and issues. So, I believe there's a time for everything. And Nairobi it's, County still have, has issues with governance. Exactly. <laughs> there's a time for everything, and Nairobi has, has more challenges <laughs> than any other county. You have no governor. <laughs> Let's start from there. Uh, thank you very much, Nuruddin. It, it has been a pleasure having you this t today. Thank you for having me. That is Nuruddin Kagai, political analyst and lawyer. That brings us to the end of this conversation right here on Why in the Morning. Brings us to the end. It's a wrap. Thank you very much for being with us since we started this uh, morning show. I say thank you to everyone, everyone who ensured that this show was a success. On behalf of everybody right here we, to you, God bless you. God bless the work of your hands. Have a fantastic day. My name is Ram Agugo. Keep it Y254.